Ever wondered why time seems so mysterious? In theoretical physics, there's something called the problem of time. It's like a tug of war between general relativity and quantum mechanics. According to quantum mechanics, time flows universally and absolutely. It's like a giant clock ticking away, the same for everyone. But general relativity, it says, hold on a second. Time is flexible. It bends, it stretches, it's relative. It's like a piece of elastic that can be pulled and squished depending on where you are and how fast you're moving. This raises a big question. What really is time? Is it a real distinct phenomenon? Or is it just something we experience in a specific way? And then there's the direction of time. Time moves forward from past to present to future. But here's the kicker. At the microscopic level, the laws of physics don't actually care which direction time goes. The equations that govern the tiny particles inside atoms work the same, whether time moves forward or backward. So, why do we experience time as moving in a single direction? It's like there's an arrow pointing only one way. One explanation involves entropy. Entropy is a measure of disorder, and it tends to increase over time. Even with entropy, we're still left pondering the true nature of time. Is time an illusion? You see, in the strange world of quantum mechanics, the concept of time is even more perplexing. In quantum mechanics, particles can exist in multiple states at once, a phenomenon known as superposition. This means that until we measure or observe a particle, it doesn't have a definite position or state. It's in a blend of all possible states simultaneously. Imagine a clock that can show all possible times at once until you look at it. Only then does it settle on a specific time. Even more fascinating is the idea of quantum entanglement. When particles become entangled, the state of one particle instantly influences the state of another, no matter how far apart they are. This spooky action at a distance, as Einstein called it, suggests a connection that transcends our usual understanding of time and space. It's as if these particles share information instantaneously, regardless of the distance separating them. But here's where it gets even weirder. Some interpretations of quantum mechanics, like the many worlds interpretation, propose that every quantum event spawns a multitude of parallel universes. Each possible outcome of a quantum event happens in a different universe. In this view, time doesn't just flow in one direction, it branches out, creating a vast multiverse of possibilities. So how does time actually work in quantum mechanics? Is it an absolute backdrop against which events unfold? Or is it something more fluid and interconnected with the very fabric of reality? The truth is, we don't fully understand yet. Let's shift our focus to another revolutionary perspective. Time in the realm of general relativity. In classical mechanics, time was seen as an absolute unchanging backdrop. A universal clock ticking away uniformly, indifferent to the events occurring within its frame. However, Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity turned this notion on its head. According to general relativity, time is not a constant, but a variable that can be stretched and warped by gravity. Imagine space and time as a fabric, and massive objects like stars and planets create dents and curves in this fabric. This warping of space-time alters the passage of time itself. For instance, time runs slower near a massive object like a black hole compared to a less massive region of space. This phenomenon is known as time dilation. To put it in perspective, an astronaut orbiting near a black hole would experience time much more slowly than someone far away from it. A few hours for the astronaut could equate to years for someone on Earth. Einstein's equations also revealed something even more astonishing, the potential for time travel. If we could travel at speeds close to the speed of light, or navigate through the intense gravitational fields of black holes, we might be able to manipulate time in ways that defy our everyday experiences. This isn't just science fiction. It's a real implication of the mathematics of general relativity. Moreover, general relativity introduces the concept of space-time as a unified entity, blurring the lines between past, present, and future. Events that we perceive as sequential might, in fact, be interconnected in ways we can't fully comprehend yet. Now that we've delved into the revolutionary implications of general relativity, it's time to confront one of the most profound questions in modern physics. How can we reconcile the conflicting notions of time in quantum mechanics and general relativity? This conundrum is often referred to as the problem of time. 
In quantum mechanics, time is treated as an unchanging, absolute background, much like in classical mechanics. However, as we've seen, general relativity portrays time as a dynamic entity that can be stretched and warped by gravity. These two perspectives seem fundamentally incompatible, presenting a significant challenge for physicists seeking a unified theory of everything. One proposed solution to this problem comes from the realm of quantum gravity, a field that aims to merge quantum mechanics and general relativity into a single coherent framework. Among the most promising approaches is string theory. String theory suggests that the fundamental building blocks of the universe are not point-like particles, but tiny vibrating strings. These strings can exist in multiple dimensions, and their vibrations give rise to the particles and forces we observe. In this framework, time could be envisioned as an emergent property, arising from the complex interactions of these strings. Another intriguing approach is loop quantum gravity. Unlike string theory, which posits additional dimensions, loop quantum gravity attempts to quantize space-time itself. It suggests that space-time is composed of discrete loops woven together, like a fabric. In this model, time might emerge as a consequence of the underlying quantum structure of space-time, potentially resolving the tension between quantum mechanics and general relativity. Yet another fascinating idea is the concept of the block universe, or eternalism. This philosophical perspective posits that past, present, and future events all coexist in a four-dimensional space-time block. In this view, time doesn't flow as we experience it. Instead, all moments are equally real and exist simultaneously. While this idea doesn't provide a direct solution to the problem of time, it offers a different way of thinking about the nature of time and existence. In traditional physics, the properties of particles and forces can vary depending on the scale at which they're observed. However, in a scale-invariant universe, these properties would remain consistent, no matter how much you zoom in or out. This brings us to whale time, a theoretical construct that could redefine our understanding of temporal progression in such a universe. At the heart of this concept lies the mathematical framework of scale invariance. Imagine a universe where the fundamental constants and equations governing physical phenomena do not change with scale. This would mean that the universe operates under a different set of rules, where time itself might be perceived differently. Recent research in scale-invariant quantum gravity suggests that whale time could offer solutions to some of the most perplexing problems in modern physics. For instance, it might provide new insights into the nature of dark matter and dark energy, two of the most elusive components of our universe. By understanding how time behaves in a scale-invariant context, we could unlock new pathways to unify quantum mechanics and general relativity. Moreover, wild time could have profound implications for our understanding of cosmology. If the universe is indeed scale-invariant, it could mean that the Big Bang was not the singular beginning of time, but rather a phase transition in an eternal, scale-invariant cosmos. This perspective could revolutionize our understanding of the universe's origin and ultimate fate. As we delve deeper into the theoretical underpinnings of whale time, we encounter a rich tapestry of mathematical elegance and philosophical depth. This journey is far from over, and each new discovery brings us closer to a more unified and comprehensive understanding of the cosmos.